Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with the last part of introduction to chemistry and we are going to discuss laboratory safety rules. Uh, it is important to understand that uh, uh, a laboratory is a room for scientific learning. Uh, however, uh, that room of scientific learning can also turn to be a source of danger and that danger can lead to a lot of injuries that may come as a result of the accidents that may happen there. It is therefore important that we understand what are the safety requirements when a learner is in the laboratory. Now, we have uh, the following laboratory uh, safety rules that each learner is expected to observe while in the laboratory. Number one, a learner should not eat or drink anything while in the laboratory. And this is because there is likelihood of contamination. So to avoid contamination, uh, learners are advised to avoid eating or drinking while in the laboratory. <coughs> As this may cause contamination. So there are some poisonous substances in the laboratory that are not meant for consumption. Safety rule number two, never run around in the laboratory because when you run around, you can easily fall and injure yourself or you can easily break the apparatus. Remember, most of them are made of glass and also to avoid injuring the person who is next to you. So avoid running. in the laboratory as this can cause injuries or breakage of apparatus. Another safety rule that one is expected to observe is that you should not attempt any experiment without the instruction of the teacher who is in charge or the laboratory technician given instructions by the teacher. So do not attempt any experiment without instructions from the teacher in charge or laboratory technician who will receive the instructions from the teacher to instruct. Uh, safety rule number four is also good to know that uh, when you are carrying out experiments, ensure that you label all the chemicals that you are handling and this one prevents contamination and also minimizes the chances of explosions. So make sure that whatever chemical you are handling is labeled. Uh, number five, uh, there's also a safety rule that uh, if a certain chemical spills on your skin, 
you are supposed to wash it immediately with a lot of water. Or if it accidentally gets into your mouth or into your eyes, you are supposed to wash it off uh, immediately and then report to the teacher who is in charge. So in case a chemical spills on your skin, eyes, or mouth, wash immediately with a lot of running water and report to the teacher in charge. Number six, uh, in case of an accident, uh, such as fire, the students should not run to the exit all at once, but they should move out of the room systematically or in an orderly manner. And this is to avoid uh, scrambling at the door, making the exit difficult. Students should not scramble at the exit, but instead should walk systematically towards the exit still on the issue of accidents any accident should be reported to the teacher in charge immediately for action to be taken. Also, another safety uh, rule that one needs to observe is uh, during heating. When heating uh, substances inside apparatus that have uh, openings or that have are open, it's advisable that, for example, the mouth of that apparatus should not be facing you or should not be facing the person who is next to you because there could be some poisonous gases that are being produced. So for example, when heating substances in boiling tubes, ensure that the mouth faces away from you. Or the person next to you. Because some poisonous gases could be emitted. Some poisonous gases could be emitted. Number nine, always ensure that you clean the apparatus used 
the bench and ensure it is dry. So if it's the apparatus that you have used in a certain experiment, make sure that you wash those apparatus afterwards. You also clean the bench that you have used and leave it dry. It's also important to note that uh, apparatus should be used for their correct use. So for example, if it is an apparatus that is required for scooping substances, then it should be used for that particular purpose. But it should not be used for another purpose. Use the apparatus for purpose or for purposes for which they are designed. Also, it's good to note that never place glassware near the edge of the bench as this can easily fall and break. Of course, causing uh, injuries. So we have looked at uh, a number of uh, safety rules that are supposed to be observed uh, while in the laboratory. There are many more, but it is important to observe all those rules as they apply. So we'll have an assignment. <coughs> So the assignment, the first question, why is it important? Why is it important to follow the laboratory safety rules? Why is it important to follow the laboratory safety rules? Two, describe what Elana should do in the case of a fire accident in the laboratory give a description of what a learner should do in case of a fire accident in the laboratory. And three, state five safety rules required to be observed while in the laboratory. So we'll stop there and that marks the end of that topic. We'll meet in another topic. Goodbye. <music>